So, what was that thing I said at the end of my last review of the show? But, dang, maybe this is the case where the issues fix themselves bit by bit? Boy, I missed the mark completely, didn't I? Well, we're on the third episode, and I have to say, this one's not looking too good here. Whatever, let's just dive right into the third episode of the series, The Filth. The episode itself starts off in a testing facility, where we see a man wearing a sleeveless hazmat suit. I guess sleevelessness is in fashion. Whatever, he's carrying what I can only deduce to be toxic waste. He then dunks it into the machine, and we meet our second antagonist, and it's soon revealed that the man has the body of a roach, and the other dude has the head of one. I'm honestly not even gonna try to make a joke out of it. Since we gotta meet our charming villains of the week, we skip ahead to Gwen and Gurpal Mercs, cleaning up the RV, when they soon uncover Ben's section, which looks like a gigantic pigsty. After finding out that he's watching... Uh, something online. Merckx disconnects the internet in order to get him to do his chores, which are stacked on papers tall enough to make business contracts look small. After Gwen and Merckx go to do a thing, Ben turns into Accelerate, tries to clean the RV, but because Ben's trash is... You know, when I say this out loud, it sounds really stupid. But because Ben's trash is radioactive to power the machine, the villains then proceed to pull a Grand Theft Auto. After they do, we get not one, not two, but three slapstick jokes in the style of Looney Tunes. I get the jokes, I just don't find them funny, and I'm pretty sure it's because Ben is trying to fight back against the bad guys to get the RV back, when this could have worked both for the plot and the comedy if the bad guys trying to take the RV from Ben in this way before just taking it by force. As it is now, it's like the Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons, but instead of Coyote wanting to eat the Roadrunner, the Roadrunner is actually a government spy with the information to take over the world, and the Coyote is trying to stop the Roadrunner before it's too late! I think I'm looking too deeply into this, let's just leave it at I didn't find this funny. Anyways, after the third attempt, Ben walks through the desert, and after a good while, Ben soon finds the RV is located at... I'm going to guess it's a radioactive plant, and finds that the RV has been completely cleaned, only to look outside and see that they're stuffing all of Ben's garbage into the machine. You know, the machine that they pour toxic waste in? Are they saying that Ben's garbage is on the same level of toxicity as the waste? If you ask me, I think this is one big case of me looking too deeply into a kid's cartoon. And I think this joke's been around to the ground long enough, so let's just move right on ahead. Ben turns into forums and starts punching things before Maurice, and that's the name of the human head roach body dude, activates a magnet which attracts maggots and forms them into a giant hulking monster, with the intent of destroying Vegas for all the money. You know what's really funny about this? The episode itself knows how dumb this sounds. So, let me get this straight. You stole our RV, so you could fuel that trash machine to power a magnet that attracts maggots to make a monster that would eat Las Vegas? Whatever. Now, if the episode would be kind enough as to not review itself for me, that would be great. Anyways, Ben manages to get the remote back, and like the idiot he is, proceeds to smash it to pieces, causing the monster to go to berserk. Man, that Ben tuition is looking pretty good right now. The Roach Boys then run off, so Ben tries to fight back with his fists. It doesn't work at all. However, he then removes the magnet holding the thing together, so he throws the RV at the monster itself and shatters the magnet, leaving globs of maggots on the RV. Mercs and Gwen come back later and find the place completely spotless because Ben cleaned it all up, but Ben can't have the internet back because I guess clean the RV is only a small portion of that list, which makes me wonder what else is on said list. Can I just say how annoying this episode is? It had something going for it, but I feel like the Looney Tunes jokes, which took up a little over two minutes, I might add, don't really add anything and are just there because slapstick humor. Keep in mind, I'm not saying slapstick humor isn't funny at all, but in an action show, which this reboot is trying to be, I might add, slapstick should be used sparingly and not just take up two minutes of an episode all at once. Other than that, this episode could have worked. I made fun of the villain's premise for being dumb, but I think it could have worked if it didn't try so hard to be funny, I guess. Thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed, please hit that like button, if you want to see more, subscribe, and if you really want to be nice, donate to my PayPal in the link below. Thank you, and goodbye.